Welcome to a My MyVentrack tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to go over the Inventory tab. The Inventory tab gives you a quick overview of all your products and where the inventory is at for each product. As you can see here, I have a list of six products here in the inventory. First thing to note is if you have a lot of inventory and you want to quickly look up a certain item, you just hit the search bar here and let's say we want to look up uh, Snickers. Just start typing and it will be filtered out for you. Now we have filtered out Snickers, we can uh, take a look and see what's going on with it. We can first see that we have only three on hand, so we probably should go out and buy some. We also see there's only two in machines. It means we probably should go and add some to the machines. Nine have sold overall, six have been given away, and four are in the expired inventory. The last column here allows us to add inventory to Snickers. If we click it, we get the pop-up for Snickers. And we can go ahead and fill it out and add inventory as we get it. The other function of the inventory page is, of course, adding inventory. Up here in the top right, you can add inventory. So if we hit the add inventory, we get the pop-up. Let's take a look at this and see what's going on in this form. First, we get a date purchased. So let's say we went out today and we bought some Snickers on the 18th. Product, select the product you've purchased, Snickers. So we uh, look at the box and we see an expiration date. Let's just pick a random date, uh, August. So our Snickers expire on the 31st of August. Next we select the supplier. Where did we buy the Snickers from? Let's say we went to Sam's Club. Next is the type. This is the inventory type. Since we just bought it, we will select on hand inventory. Other options are in machines, expired, giveaway, or sold. Next we can either add by case or by unit. By unit allows you to specify the exact amount of units, the unit size, and the unit cost. By case, allows you to enter the case cost, case size, units per case, and the rest will be calculated for you. So let's say we bought a case of Snickers. What did it cost us? Well, let's say it costed us 20 bucks. Let's say our case size, well, let's make it 100 ounces of Snickers. That sounds good. Uh, how many were in the case? let's say there was 20 Snickers in the case and as you see the unit size and unit cost automatically populated for us we got a unit size of 5 and a unit cost of 1 there we have it we filled out our inventory form now we just go ahead and we click add when the page reloads we can see our Snickers here just went from 3 to 23 because we just got 20 and on hand Let's filter it out here. Now we can better see it. Yep, there we go. We got 23 Snickers on hand. So that's how you add inventory. It's pretty straightforward and simple. Last thing to notice on the inventory tab is each product is actually clickable. If you click on the product, it will take you to a more detailed breakdown of that product, which is covered in another tutorial. That is a basic overview of the inventory tab. It's pretty straightforward. All you can do is add inventory and um, see the current inventory for a specific product. Uh, I hope this is a helpful tutorial. Um, thank you for watching.